Hello guys, this is Joyce. Happy Saturday. I hope everybody is safe and doing everything they can to stay safe. Um, my company, we are still open and working because they consider what my company makes to be essential to keeping things going. Um, so this week I got to work at home and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So yeah, but I am here with, and look at my hands, I'm going to do my nails because it's been a while. So that is on for today. I am here for Project Share and this is actually a video response to, oh where is the paperwork? It is a video response to Crystal who is I'm Busy Crafting. And she is having a thousand dollar, a thousand dollar, a thousand subby challenge. And the challenge is to make an ATC card any style. I came across Crystal's channel from someone else's channel. And I didn't write that down to remember who it was. Um... If I think about it, I'll put it in the box below, and I'm going to also link Crystal's channel in the box below. You have to be a subscriber, which I did subscribe to her. You have to be 18 or over, and it doesn't matter for the style of your uh, ATC, but that is what she's doing. You need to go by and check her out, because I looked at some of her videos, and the girl is awesome, okay? Uh, she's got a couple projects that I definitely want to find out the uh, tutorial for it because she is good. So go by and check her out. And for my ATC, I use these embellishments from Recollections, which was uh, some gold, uh, grayish silver butterflies. And then it has, I have had these for so very long. And there were eight pieces. There were two left. Uh, it's finally empty. I love emptying packages. That one is gone. I used uh, these artist trading cards. This is a chalk one. I just needed some black and I didn't feel like cutting paper. As you can see, I got them on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And then they had this silver. Um, and... I forgot there's an adhesive on there. I could have used that. And they were on clearance also. So whenever I see these things, I buy them when they're cheap because I love to make ATCs. I use this die, which is part of a Sizzix set. I use this ink, which I just opened. It was also bought on clearance. You know I love some clearance. But I also love this Delicata ink. And this one is called White Shimmer because I'm using black and silver and I used I wanted to use something light to stamp on some black paper I bought this paper I'm gonna show this actually in a haul because I haven't hauled this stuff but this is some tonic paper it is called crushed metal it is a A4 sheet you get five sheets there is 55 pounds but it was on clearance so it was really cheap and I'm gonna order another one but this is what the paper looks like up close and personal. I love that texture. And I'm going to do some more projects because I cut a sheet. And so I'm going to do something else. But I just love the texture. I had some gold like that, kind of, but not as textured on it. And I'm really looking for some more gold because I think that was my last sheet. But I used that. And what else did I use? I had some bling somewhere. Where did it go? Okay, I moved some stuff. The bling is not here. Oh, I'm sorry. This bling, perfect for my papers. This is also from uh, Michaels, and I have had it in my stash forever. It actually came out of the dollar bins when they had dollar bins, I think. Um... It was a 48 piece. As you can see, I've used a few, but not many. So, and I used this stamp, which I have had in my stash forever. It is just called Work, Love, 
dance it is from stamp abilities and this is one of those things that I have had I use it a lot sometimes I cut the sentiment apart and use them separately or just use two of them but it's one of those stamps that gets a lot of use and even though I want to get rid of all of my wood blocks because I have those that I use all the time. I love this one. So that is it. Let me show you my ATC. And I'm going to put my name on the back. This is my information for my ATCs and stuff. And this is the ATC. As you can see, I kind of cut the papers smaller to make them fit. And I wanted to use both pieces. And this is the butterfly and the bling. So I love it. It just says, work like you don't need the money love like you've never been hurt and dance like nobody's watching so that is my ATC and as always when I make one I always make one for myself so that is that I really like how these turned out I wanted them to be sort of flat so that they could definitely fit into her uh, sleeves. She's putting them in the sleeves the same way I collect mine. She's doing the same thing. And I can't wait to get that to her. So that is it. Crystal, if you're watching this video, uh, I have loved watching all the different creations that you've received. And I hope you enjoy the one that I am sending you. So guys, if you like this video, please comment, give me a thumbs up, share it with somebody else who might like it. And if you like, I'm going to probably make these again and then put them together on screen. So guys, stay tuned and I will be back. Bye.